Thank you for joining the National Weather Service in Missoula for our planning briefing for today, Wednesday. So looking at our key points, we're anticipating a first round of snow accumulation late Thursday into Friday daytime for the Northern Rockies. Uh, daytime temperatures will, will warm enough to melt uh, snow at the low elevations. However, Friday late afternoon through Sunday morning, an Arctic air mass will move west of the Continental Divide, reaching the western edge of Idaho and along the way producing flash freeze on roadways, uh, snow and blowing snow, gusty north and east winds, and low visibility at times. Also within that period, Saturday to Sunday, when sub-zero wind chill temperatures uh, will be present across the region. And then finally, we break out of the extreme cold uh, middle of next week, where the pattern shifts away from the, the, the cold the cold signature, but there's specific moisture that remains and will be affecting us from there forward. Looking at the timing of the Arctic front, here we're starting Friday evening with this particular line here up near Glacier Park. And then finally by the uh, Saturday evening, uh, reaching Lolo Pass and the Bitterroot Mountains Lookout Pass. And then finally by Sunday morning, uh, reaching all the way south of uh, Idaho County. Uh, and like I said, along the way, we'll see a drop in temperatures and blowing and drifting snow and flash freeze uh, on the roadways uh, possible and wind chills dipping below zero. Um, and the precipitation type being uh, snow and mixed with rain and snow um, ahead of the Arctic front uh, will enhance some of the flash freeze potential. And so at that flash freeze um, Friday into Saturday. Just to give a, 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 another, another look at temperatures dropping, here's Kalispell, and where I'm circling here is about 6 p.m. on Friday for Kalispell, temperature around freezing, and then rapidly dropping off after sunset as the Arctic front moves through. So definitely flash freeze potential be, would be high during this time. And there's some there's some differences in the timing of the of the Arctic air. So this is Kalispell again. What I'm looking at here is a whole bunch of, of temperature forecasts from the ensemble here from the European and from the domestic model. And you can see the domestic model with the, the blue colors being colder. The cold air comes in here sooner, maybe around 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., whereas the European has more of a 9 p.m. to midnight. Uh, for the Arctic air coming through. See those differences uh, here in Missoula, uh, where the, uh, the domestic model is pushing this stuff through, the cold air through maybe like nine to midnight, uh, and the European is more like uh, midnight and then to 3 a.m. So there's quite a few differences here, and that over to, to Grangeville, Idaho, uh, but there's a lot more muddiness here. It seems like most most models, whether they be the, the European or domestic, are clustering around a, a sunset Saturday evening uh, cool down with the Arctic air mass coming in, and that will um, meet up with, with snow, and the snow will melt and freeze uh, and cause the flash freeze road conditions, uh, or at least there's a high risk of that happening. So just to characterize the snow, here I am along the Connell Divide and Marias Pass showing the snow amounts increasing uh, throughout Thursday to here midnight and Thursday into Friday, and then staying pretty high, uh, reaching the peak here uh, Friday afternoon as the Arctic air advances to the west and trailing off through Saturday through the middle of the day. And you can see the corresponding uh, temperatures dropping quite a bit all the way below zero here on Saturday. Uh, we just want to contrast that with a place like Happy's Inn where that first round of snow Thursday into Friday, uh, you see a little bit of a maximum in snow there and then it trails off a bit uh, Friday morning before reaching uh, a pretty good maximum five inches here in the six hour period, um, the 6 p.m. to midnight period on uh, Friday into Saturday. Um, and so we'll see their temperatures drop off a lot more here on Saturday uh, during the, the day, during the afternoon. So not quite phasing up with the precipitation, um, 
but but eventually that will, will the temperatures will drop and, and we'll see uh, road conditions change dramatically. So now we come to snow amounts and what I'm showing here is a snow forecast that is on our low end of expectations. Basically, this is the minimum we would expect for these locations as far as snowfall goes. And there's some pretty impressive amounts uh, going uh, from Thursday evening all the way through Saturday, uh, almost to midnight. And you can see that uh, low elevations, and mostly ranging uh, from the uh, two to six inch range. Uh, however, Sealy Swan Valley could be over 10 inches easily, uh, particularly Sealy Lake and Swan Lake. Um, and also, we can see some pretty good amounts for the mountains, uh, seeing over a foot and a half here in the Mission Mountains, and then around a foot in the Bitterroot Range, and then up here in Glacier Park as well. And the high-end ranges are, are pretty impressive, uh, over two feet here in the uh, Mission Mountains, and also uh, one to two feet for the Clearwater Mountains of Idaho, Bitterroot Crest, and then up near Glacier Park. So pretty much the high elevations, but the low elevations as well, uh, adding even more to the, the, uh, the impact of travel around the region over the weekend. You can see some snow amounts uh, up to a foot here in Polson. So we're gonna be looking at this pretty closely. Our current forecasts are deterministic or, or the forecast that we've selected as most representative is, is fairly close as the low elevations to the numbers that are being shown on the screen here. So go back to the, the timing of the Arctic front and uh, just a reminder that it's Friday evening starts up near the park all the way south of Idaho County on Sunday. Uh, we're just seeing, trying to drill down on the flash freeze potential for Grangeville as that cold air comes in uh, here around 6, 6 p.m. on Saturday dropping temperatures below uh, freezing uh, rapidly all the way through uh, Sunday morning. So uh, definitely be looking at that if you're traveling north-south on Highway 95 uh, Saturday evening. And of course the wind gusts, the east-northeast wind gusts um, blowing over, over 30 miles per hour here up in the Flathead Valley, which typically gets such strong winds. Also over the, the passes, Marias Pass, McDonald Pass, um, and this is, this is just the, the middle of the road forecast. We could see some gusts uh, exceeding 40 miles per hour all the way down into the, the Flathead Valley during this time. And then you can see the wind chill. Uh, this, these are the lowest wind chills we're anticipating uh, through Monday morning. And really these are probably more like Sunday morning wind chills uh, down from you know as low as 40 below zero uh, up here near Pole Bridge and West Glacier along the divide, generally around 30 to 40 below zero. Um, definitely lessens as you get over into Idaho, lower Idaho, um, a mere five to 10 below zero uh, wind chill expectation. But uh, all this to say, it's gonna be very uh, miserable out this weekend, uh, whether it be the snow, the freezing uh, on the roadways or these wind chills. So take care to, to not be outside very long. We want to highlight the extreme danger to newborn livestock. Uh, the scene will probably replay in many places with the blowing snow and extreme cold. Uh, so just a reminder on that one. So we're, we're expecting a little bit of a pattern change uh, uh, as we get into the middle of next week. And we can see here that the patterns uh, that are clustered in Pattern A, pattern B, pattern C, pattern D all have this ridge somewhere over the western U.S. or right along the west coast. And the average solution puts a ridge over Washington, Nevada, Oregon, California. And that would definitely be something to, uh, to get rid of this cold air. But the flow will still be off the Pacific and, and any moisture that moves over the high pressure will be coming into the north. And this, this tracks well with, uh, with CPC's outlook from the 6 to 10 day to 8 to 14 day. Uh, really keeps the Pacific moisture uh, influence over the northern region. And then finally, we have the uh, temperature outlook, which shows our extreme below 
normal temperatures in the six to ten day uh, that that uh, move off to uh, more of the upper Great Lakes region uh, as we get out into the first second week of February. And our weather impact overview, just looking at that extreme uh, change in, in conditions, flash freeze, low visibility snow, blowing snow uh, on Friday night uh, for a lot of uh, Montana, finally getting to north central Idaho on Saturday, flash freezing and migrating that way. And then we get the, the cold air coming in and staying here uh, for quite a while, uh, all the way through Monday for pretty much all the northern Rockies. Concludes our our briefing for today. Uh, for updated snow probability images, uh, weather.gov/mso/winter. Uh, those are updated uh, multiple times a day, so check back there uh, for more information on that. In our next briefing, at least planned, it's Sunday, January 29th. We hope to see you there. Thanks for joining us, and have a nice day.